Hello Internet and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, we continued on the Phantom Train. We lost our ghost friend. Our friend, who was going to stay with us to the very end, left us. And we saved, and we fought a guy named Siegfried who was kind of a pushover. And we fought a monster in a box, which was kind of a pushover. But now we're here, pretty much at the engine. So, this is the engineer's room. Gotta stop this thing. And I think it's like this, and like this, and. Uh, I need to do one thing. Hold on. Stop. And then. We do this. Yes! Yeah, right. Okay, good. So, you're the one slowing my progress. <laughs> Now I'm gonna show. I'm gonna try to show this uh, this fight two ways. I'm gonna try. It may not work in my advantage at all. Um, but let's do the first one. Here's like the easy way to take out this train. And now you could also fight the train normally, just fighting and attacking and attacking. It makes for a long, a little bit harder but battle and everything. And I'm going to try to do that, actually, too. But this that's just one way to beat that boss. Let's, let's do this. Jump? Why not? Ah! Alright. Piranhas. This is just like pretty much a fight as you're going down the falls and through the river, I, I would assume. Even though it just makes it seem like you're just going down this really, really, really long waterfall. Fighting piranha all the way down. Which, you know, the piranha aren't... they aren't that much to deal with. They're not really that bad. I mean, to be honest, Cyan could take one out one swipe. Seven's just wasting uh, energy, even though he could freaking attack for days. I just love having him with the Jinji glove because he can kill anything. And especially later when I get better freaking weapons for him, oh my god. He is just devastating. Draped in monster hides, eyes shining with intelligence, a youth surviving against all odds. Gow. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Like I said in one of the earlier videos, I'm gonna mispronounce, you know, uh, names of towns and freaking people's names probably all the time. So bear with me, and I'm sorry. Uh, and you are? Oh God, I was noticed. I'm gone. He's gone. He's gone. I don't know what to do now. Let's go this way. <laughs> Oh god, I love this music. And the best thing is, is this music travels, it continues on even through battles. See? Oh god, I love it. But, um, the town of Mobiliz which is where I'm going, uh, has something that I need to get my next party member, who is the kid that we just saw, you know, Gal. So, um, okay, he's not popping up. I would have had to have attacked him if he popped up. And he would have been like, you, you bad people, go away from bed. Mm -hmm. Uh, stop by the house up the far north, the guy is, oh, you, know, you stop by the, you stop by the house in the far north. The guy there's a tad psycho. Threw his own kid out, thinking it was a monster. Letters tell us that the war is broken out. Alright. Who are you? 
This region is called the Belt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. Did I have a relic shop? I wonder if they got a relic shop here. I haven't seen a relic shop in a while. Not since I was in one of the other storylines. Out hunting, I noticed a kid running with a herd of beasts. His parents know where he is? Apparently not, if he's running with a freaking horde of beasts. Threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. Alright, so we'll go to the item shop. Pretty much set on items, at least from here. I don't have anything useful to, for me. I had no idea. Alright. You. Only carrier pigeons link our village to the outside. Let's see what... I am at your service. Send things all over the world. Bam! Elixir. God, I love the clocks in this game. The entrance to the Serpent Trench is south of the Crescent Mountains. Okay, might be good to know. I'm from Miranda. The, uh, the Empire invaded and made me join their army. I fled when I heard we were making for Doma. They caught me and did this. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On my desk is a letter. Will you please read it? I'd like to write her back. But I can't even pick up a pen. Man, it's kind of, kind of depressing. I mean, he was he was just recruited, or, or as they would probably call it, volunteered. But oh man, that adds like a whole new dynamic to the empire. Dwayne and Karen are both sixteen and in love. It must be these two up here. Dwayne. Catherine. Yep, they're just staring at each other longingly. Relics, yes! What we got? What we got? Ooh! White capes are nice! Forgot about this bed. I didn't have to actually sleep at the end. I could have just come here and sleep. Slept. Slip. Oh, I'm losing my words. I, I'm Englishing very well suddenly. Alright. So we're pretty much done here. I got. Items I need to get Gao to befriend me. So let's get that going. Get back out on the belt. But yeah, we'll. we'll oh. Okay. So we need to give him. Where is it? Where's my dried meat? Dried meat, dried meat. Give him some dried meat and be like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, me hungry. I'm gonna say me. Me hungry, because he's supposed to be, you know, a little bit slower than the rest of the kids, I guess. He can't English well. He's like me half the time. What the... Thou art so... odd. I'm Cyan, and he is Sabin. You, Sabin. You, Cyan. Me want more food. No more food for you. You go. Get, me, get more from me. You're a regular munchkin. And you, afraid of me. You wanna fight? Me not wanna hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. Oh, look at that. They're dancing. They're dancing. Oh, oh, you're pretty tough. Oh, that fun, you strong. Uh, 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 uh. Me like dancing. You good leader. Shut up. Simmer down, sirs. And thou, uh, oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. You angry? Cyan, you angry me? Cyan, you angry me? Cyan, you angry me? Listen, his family was just... Me understand. Me sorry. Me not mean person. Look, we can't have you two prancing around all day. Gao. I think we're going to get well to get along well together. Blah, 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 blah. Why don't you come with us? 
Ah, I give you present. Gal gives Cyan and Sebin. Nice present. And thanks for food. What manner of rubbish do you, do you suppose he's gonna give us? Gal treasure. Shiny. Shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Can anything be that shiny? Does Mr. Zhao like shiny thing? Mr. Zhao, that one. Over there. A shiny thing, eh? Think how jealous Locke's gonna be when he hears about this. Sorry, I started doing the wrong voice there. Who be Locke? He bad man? Maybe he tries to steal my treasure. That's where we're gonna leave off this video. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. In the next episode, we will try to, to uh, well, actually I think I'll do that off camera. I was going to try and uh, show off some of Gao's leaping and rage ability. I might do that. I don't know. But in the next episode, we will continue to the Crescent Mountain, and we will continue and possibly finish Savin's side quest on our way to Narshe. But until that episode, until that video, perhaps chill out. Anyway, until we see each other in the next video, Peace out. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the land, but one day the monsters of the castle attacked me. So what exactly are you doing, Mike? Why are you being so precise? 33 coins. 30 in the 10 digits spot in your, in your coin, and if you stop the clock on an even number,